All right, what's up boys? Um, recently, Washington has gone back into lockdown. Um, so I will be doing most of my training down in our basement. Um, for those of you who were following me back uh, for the first lockdown, we were at a different house and we had a shed out back, had a nice gym set up. Um, we have moved since then um, to an objectively nicer house that we're renting, but the basement, um, the ceiling is extremely low, so we can't set up the big rack. Uh, we've been training at a regular gym, so it's not set up down here. Uh, definitely a little bit of a downgrade as far as the home gym goes, but we're gonna try to make it work. And I decided um, that I would use training down in the basement today uh, to finally do something that I've been meaning to do for a while and film a full bench session so you guys can see what that whole process looks like. Um, so basically the plan is I'll put this, uh, this intro in here. I'm also gonna tell you the beginning things that I was too lazy to film, and then I'm gonna voice over um, everything that I bother to film, which hopefully will be as much as possible because I think there's a good learning experience there. Um, so uh, I ate my last meal before training. Um, I went on a walk to get my core body temperature up. Uh, I wore a full sweatsuit because it's a little chilly right now, so it makes it a little easier to get moving, maybe break a sweat. Uh, didn't work today, but usually that's the goal. Um, I came down here. I hit two sets of 25 face pulls, primary rationale being warming up my upper back and my external rotators in my shoulders, hit two sets of 25 internal rotations with a band, usually do the both of these on a cable machine, but I did both of them on bands today. Uh, I hit, oh, and I also did uh, some couch stretch really, um, flex out my quad, like stretch out my quads, stretch out my hip flexors so I can get my hip in extension rather than my low back. Uh, and then I hit four sets of 25 reps. Uh, with 95 pounds to start getting some blood flow to my pecs. Um, usually I prefer to do four sets of 25 with some relatively light dumbbells, uh, really warm up through a larger range of motion than I'm training for the day, but I don't have a, I guess we do have loadable dumbbells, but they're super cheap. They weigh five pounds and I'm terrified of them. So uh, instead we're just doing some high rep, uh, lightweight bench. I hit 135 for a set of 20. I hit 185 for a set of 15. Um, and I think the video should start with 225 for a set of 10. Uh, I'm going to voice over for the rest. So let me know how you like this video format. Um... Okay, so I was get, started to get into my workout and I realized my pec was being a little bit dicey. I've been nursing a little bit of a pec strain and I had a hunch it would be a bit of an issue. Um, after hitting that 460 for a set of five I did on Monday, today being Wednesday. So obviously a pretty quick turnaround, which I'm usually good for, but I had a hunch that my pec was uh, not going to be happy. So I came in trying to keep a flexible mindset, especially because I'm switching equipment. I've got limited equipment, so a lot of the workout is kind of being altered as I go. Um, so right around here, I got to 345 on my warm-up, and I realized my pec wasn't going to have it. I was scheduled to go up to about 470 for a set of four today, chip a little rep PR, um, decided better, realized that there was no reason to hurt myself um, this late in a training block just for an arbitrary rep PR when I have so much positive momentum. So what I decided to do was opt for a 5x5 five five between 365 and 405. Um, kind of feel out the pack, get in some quality sets without pushing too hard. 405 is a weight that I've done for 10 a couple of times. Um, so relatively easy. Here's me benching, trying to use as little pack as possible as I think is pretty clear from this angle. Um, and here was my second set of five at 405. Moved pretty well. Um, definitely not one of those days I could have hit it for 10, um, but got in some quality works in some appropriate percentage ranges. So I'll take the day as a win, especially considering the change in equipment. Um, here was my horizontal row for the day, kind of bounced back and forth between these and meadow rows. Um, usually I do a chest supported T-bar or a kneeling dumbbell row um, as my preferred horizontal pull. I would do bent over rows, but my spinal erectors are more or less topped out in the amount of volume they can recover from in a given week. So I have to do something with, a, with my hand supporting myself on my knee or a chest support. Um, here are some no back support seated overheads. Took these really easy because I'm going to have to overhead press again. Um, relatively heavy come Friday, so another two-day turnaround, so kind of keeping that in mind. Uh, hit five sets of pull-ups. By the end, I was pretty exhausted. Also forgot to take off my hat here. Um, normally, I would only do two sets of these because I did the majority of my pulling volume on the horizontal row because it's a primary horizontal pressing day. 
um, but wanted to get in some extra work because there was a lot of stuff I had to cut due to limited equipment. So just trying to get in some quality work, figuring out things as I go, how to adapt and try to keep my positive training momentum um, while in the basement. Here's me forgetting how many reps I was doing. And then I ended the workout with band press downs.